Okay, sorry about the slightly truncated end to the last one. There's my spark plug, gapped to 1.1 mil. And here's my wonderful magnetic pickup, which I'm going to use for putting the spark plug down the hole approximately. And then, there's my socket, that is a 19mm, anyway, there we go, spark plug socket, it's got rubber inside it, stick that down there, you notice I've not got a long socket handle on here because you cannot afford to get this wrong so I'm turning it reverse direction gently till I feel a nice click okay there it was you probably didn't hear it I'll turn it around and now since I put some copper slip on the threads the socket of the spark plug should be quite easy to screw up. If that thread gets tight, you don't believe you've actually fastened up the spark plug, stop. Because if you damage the cylinder head, it's a very, very expensive mistake. So that's nice and I can feel it tightening up. Okay, you can check the torque yourself against the manual. There's my spark plug done up. So then what I do is I put the spark plug cap in place. Put the lock nut, lock the bolt in, tighten that up, and then fit the connector. Now the connectors, be very careful because they can get brittle if they've been exposed to heat. Push this bit here where my thumb is, place it on, and you'll feel that it engages. If you need to remove them, press there, and it comes off, okay? Now all I've got to do after I've tightened that up, let's put the cover back on. Here's the cover. Now that fits like this, and it fastens up with two dome-headed bolts. Uh, that's a little 10 mil socket will take that. Now, I'll put the new spark plug in. That's one of the old ones, and looking at it, looks quite nice and golden brown. If they come out and they're very black or very white, and especially if they come out very black and oily, you've got a problem and you need to work out what that problem is. But once that's fastened back on properly, we're ready to rock and roll. Brilliant.